how's it going guys cody guys back again drop you another video right guys um i need your help um don't normally ask for people's help but i need your help right now i did a video about hmp birmingham about there was an embargo story and i needed former prisoners from that jail um you guys my subscribers sent the vlog to a former gang member from birmingham um he contacted he hit me up on the phone we spoke safe kid you know what I mean? Knew what he was talking about. Um, and then he did the interview. Well, yesterday I was contacted by an assistant producer um, for a program. They're doing a documentary on prison, right? Uh, it's going to uh, probably an hour program. Probably, I think it's Channel 5. I think it's going to go on Channel 5, right? So what they're after, guys, in a nutshell, are former prisoners that have got out in the last, like, two, three years, right? Former prison officers serving prisoners officers, right? Because what they can do with serving prison officers... Um, in sort of a whistleblow sense, talk about prison, the state of prisons and things like that, they'd be completely anonymous, right? If you're a former prisoner and you don't want your face to be on TV because you feel that you're gonna, you could end up going back to prison and you don't want to be victimised and stuff by the officers, you can do it anonymously. Uh, but what they're after in a nutshell, guys, are former prisoners, uh, former prison officers. I've already spoke to, to, to one or two last night and um, I've patched them through to the assistant producer. Former prisoners, prisoners, serving prison officers or former prison officers. Do you know anybody? Right. It could be any anywhere in England and Wales. Right. I've got people from I've already got the guy from Birmingham. Uh, I patched the number through. He'll be speaking to it today. Uh, Frenchie, obviously a reform gangster, Stephen French, friend of mine. He's uh, I've patched him through. Uh, she's going to be speaking to him today. Uh, a former prison officer with 20 years experience um, spoke to him last night. He's going to be speaking to her today. So what it is, guys, what I've become, um, I seem to get contacted by the media a lot about doing interviews. Now, I'm not really bothered about doing the interviews, to be honest with you guys. Very time consuming. And then you get journalists like this ringing you up thinking, right, well, they want, they want either your content, they want me to take part, but they also want me to make the connection with other people. Now, I'd love to be able to, for, for people, my, my, my number, sorry, is in my description, guys, right? My number's there, hit me up, send my number to people, share this vlog, send it to people that may have been in prison, that have got a lot to say about the system, they might have been treated badly by the system, that goes for both prisoners and prison officers, right? Even it could be a serving prisoner, it could be a serving prisoner, but the thing is with a serving prisoner, um, I would. It'd have to, I don't know how they'd interview and stuff like that. It might be a Skype thing if you've got the ability to do Skype. Um, but I would want the prisoner to cover his face because I'm not in the industry um, of, of stitching people up, right? Do you know what I mean? Prisoners have it hard enough inside. Um, the serving prisoners, that, that probably wouldn't be viable and they probably, like, there's a lot of red tape involved when, when it comes to filming. So that might not be an avenue, but definitely former prisoners, definitely former prison officers and current serving prison officers uh, and like I say, they can be anonymous. Uh, and like I say, what I'm, what people doing, it's happening more and more where journalists from local and national media are contacting me saying, look, you've got nearly 8,300 subscribers on YouTube. Um, you're a former prisoner. You speak to these people. You know these people. And like I say, I do know a lot of prisoners and prisoners' girlfriends and prisoners' families and stuff. But like, I want to make it so that we can, I want to give prisoners a voice, former prisoners, people that have suffered in the system, people that have got mental health issues that have been to prison, people that have been mistreated in prison, do you know what I mean? People that have become addicts through being in prison, they've never touched drugs before and become addicts. This is their chance to sound off at the prison system. Same with prison officers. Prison officers and prisoners are both prisoners at the end of the day at the hands of the Ministry of Justice because prison officers are a prisoner to the job because they're not allowed to carry out banned industrial action. There's a lot of bad officers, guys. We know about them ones. Would you believe it? People cutting fucking things at this time. All right. So, yeah, there's a lot of bad officers, but there's also a lot of really, really, really good officers, do you know what I mean, in the system. So, like I say, it's their chance to speak out if they're wanting to and if they're willing to. If you know someone that you might think might be interested in this, please, please feel free. Uh, get my number off my description. I've got my email on there. I've got my phone number on there. Do you know what I mean? I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Insta. So, get me up. Hit me up, right? And I'll make the connection um, for you guys if you guys want to do it. I mean, I don't get paid to do this. I'm just doing it off my own back. Because like I say, a lot of people that leave prison, we need more people leaving prison that are willing to talk about their experiences. And prison officers as well, right? 
Because like I say, what's going on in prisons, right, is a humanitarian crisis of the highest order, but no one cares, do they? So let me know if you're interested, guys. Let me know what you think. Put your comments in the comment section below. Feel free to share this video with anybody there. Uh, like I say, I've got, so far, I've got the Northwest boxed, former prison officer, 20 years experience, me, uh, French here, uh, and the guy from Birmingham, the former gang member that's been in Winston Green. I need more people, London, Norfolk, Suffolk, do you know what I mean? East, South, North, South, East and West. On that note, guys, leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.